Whitey Hagedorn is walking a long way back in time. In the rugged Inyo Mountains of California, he is seeking remnants of an ancient ocean containing clues to early life. His quest is not easy, because the first animals didn't leave fossilized bones. They had no bones. But they did leave clues, clear traces of their existence. The same kinds of traces are left by animals today. When you're looking for tracks and trails of organisms, canyons like this are an ideal area, especially little flat spots like this. Actually, looks like we've got some tracks right here. Judging from the closeness of the footprints to one another, suggests that it was probably walking rather than running. In a way, its tracks are recording its movement, its behavior, its size, writing its steps on the earth. Hagedorn is looking for the first steps animals ever took, more than half a billion years ago. California's ever-changing geology has pushed the past up to the surface, peeling off the layers of time, revealing the early drama of animal life. I'm playing detective in deep time. I mean, I'm trying to think, what was on the sea floor 540 million years ago? And the trick that we have as paleontologists is to go back in the geologic record and look in the rocks for evidence of tracks or trails of ancient organisms, particularly for intervals of time where maybe the animals themselves aren't preserved. What were these organisms doing? How did they live? What did they eat? How big were they? How many were they? And what do those tell us about the development of early life on Earth? For organisms to leave tracks, seems natural and inevitable. Until you consider that animals flourished for millions of years while fixed to the ocean floor. For locomotion to develop, a very different animal would soon emerge. A creature with a brand new talent. On the way to finding this animal, Hagedorn has found evidence of active mobility dating back 540 million years. The evidence he has found is as plain as day, but it was only preserved by a lucky accident. Some soft-bodied organism was cruising around on the seafloor, and all of a sudden, a storm event occurred, and this entire area was blanketed by a thin veneer of sand, effectively sealing these traces into the rock record. The sand entombed the ancient seafloor and preserved their trails. The tracks that etch this rock are like a written history. To find the very first hunter on Earth, Hagedorn will have to look even further back in time. I have a clue here, a clue there, and uh, I try to piece them together and create a story as to find out who's the culprit. It was a new kind of animal that left its mark on the Earth. Its trail is hardly bigger than a strand of hair, yet its importance is vast. Well, right at this time, about 565 million years ago, 
It was sort of revolution in animal body plans. Organisms for the first time be able to, became able to move under their own control in a directed fashion. And one of the ways we know that is by looking at trace fossils. By looking at that trail, we can almost certainly say that this animal had an ability to move sediment. Prior to this time, there weren't very many organisms that could do that. Once animals start looking for other organisms and things to eat and feeding on other organisms, the geologic record has changed forever. 